All right, guys. Welcome back to some eco here. Um, this is going to be a starter series. Um, just a quick little single player basic guide, single player series that um, shows you roughly different trades and professions you can take and how to do it. And um, the reason why it's good to have a quick go on single player is because it um, gives you opportunities to try every single skill or trade in the game. And also, by the end of it, you'll have all the building materials you want to actually try and plan out, like a 3x3 a three three land claim base or whatever for the start of a, a series, uh, like a new season on a server or something like that. So, I'm just going to run you through just some basic sort of stuff. Uh, so, you want to try out a new game. Uh, this will bring up all your games uh, that are local and... And change your filters up here if you want to find a server and sort of change how old the world is and all that sort of stuff meteor yes no all that sort of stuff um it's pretty straightforward with that sort of stuff um but we want to go all the way over here to a new world um and we want to do a so you got uh, low collaboration so you want just to do a no collaboration. Um, this will give you 30 days, the meteor impact for 30 days, but that's real life days. So that's a long time in single player because whenever you log off, the actual game stops. So, yep. Um, and we're not going to do a random gen, we're just going to do the basic world here. And these are all the skills. And um, just put your name up here. Um, Just bang that in there. Oh, pop that up again. And uh, let's get started. And I will bring you back when I'm in the game. Alrighty, so we're back in the game here. Um, gonna quickly do your character customization here. Maybe you want to have it. Usually my character. And then up here you can just do your colours of your clothing and whatnot. Um, if you don't like crazy colours, you can turn it down a bit. And um, yeah, sort of do whatever you like. You can actually change belts and stuff like that. Um, okay. But um, yep. Yeah. So for now, that will do me. And we will get into it. So, we start off in the middle of nowhere with nothing really. Uh, you want to pick some, some food, just whatever's going, just grab some. Um, so, the first thing you really want to do is press M for map. Have a bit of a look around. So, what we're looking for is you got different biomes. So, this is a plains biome, that's a uh, in the name of that one, you got a desert. Um, got a bit of a jungle here, which is a good spot to start because there's plenty of resources. But you also want to be near a desert as well. So if you can, try and find a place where you've got multiple biomes in one 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 area. Um, like over here would be pretty good because you've got a massive big jungle. So. Um, I would say we'll probably head here. So what we'll do is zoom into that spot and we'll drop a marker. Okay. Um, then we'll press escape to get out of that and we should see the marker somewhere. Yep. Over there. 90 meters away. We'll just head over there. There's no fall damage or anything like that. Just pick some veggies on your way through, some crops and stuff. And a bit of everything, just to give yourself some food. Um, also up here, it's got like, you can do this if you want. It's um, it's all the beginning like tutorials on how to do stuff. But I usually just skip it because I've played that many times before. I don't, I'm not too concerned about it. You just want to run over to wherever you're gonna 
wherever you decide to pick. I picked over here because there's plenty of resources and we're near a desert, which is kind of important. Um, for resources later on down track. So we got a nice big hole here. Um, we got we got a heap of yep, heap of uh, trees and stuff in the background there. That's a nice jungle biome in there, and we've got a desert here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our bag. So you press B for bag. Put this on your hot hot bar. Just drag it, drag it down there. And we'll press star uh, zero because that's where I put it. And um, just press R to rotate it if it doesn't fit in where you want it to be. You just flick it down. Right there. So we got a got a nice little spot here. First thing you want to do is get in here and go into storage and get all your tools. Get all them out. Them on the go. And um, now we do have a star, so first star I would probably take would be the, um, you got all your professions in here. So in each section you've got, a, you've got one that you can take without researching anything. So you've got gathering, logging, campfire cooking, hunting, uh, mining, and the other one, that's just everyone gets that one, so. That's already got. So what we're going to do is we're going to take logging first. And that gives us the ability to make... Let me go back in there and I'll show you. Um, so that gives us the ability to use less calories to do the chopping and stuff like that. And it gives us um, uh, bonus damage. So we do more damage to the uh, trees to cut them down. Um, we're a bit more efficient and we can make hewn logs which is a big part of logging like that's one of the main abilities of a logger and early game they're really good because you can actually get a small cart as well so yep so we, we're good there we're going to just start going and cutting down some trees and um a good idea is if you're going to cut down a tree is to pick everything around it like vegetables and stuff like that because when the tree falls it's gonna, gonna destroy everything underneath so get our axe put down some trees get that on the go and you always want to chop out the stumps because uh, they're really bad for the uh, you know, your server that you're playing on, if you leave stumps and debris, um, it's just going to slow down the server and makes people cranky. So you always want <laughs> you always want to try and get that sorted out. Yeah. If you're a logger, you're kind of going to set up tree plantations and stuff like that later on down the track anyway. So you just chop it up into bits. And we do have a little stockpile up here. So we'll whack that in there for now. And we can go into here. We'll go create a workbench. So we want to do that. And you can see our food here is gone. So what we want to do is we want to eat a little bit. See if we can find some stuff to balance out our food a bit. See how it's sort of jumping all around. You got four different types of food. Yeah. Uh, so beans are okay to try and balance it out but the better you can balance that out the better it'll be for xp so the xp gain here going up that's your food balance i didn't do very good there but <laughs> we got up to 119.4 so that's just okay to start with because you're going to be using a lot of food to start with um, so our workbench should be built by now. Yep. Grab that out. You want to put that down over here somewhere. Press R to rotate things. And we want to make sure the storage is linked. So that's the tiny stockpile where we put them logs. 
want to make sure that's linked. Okay. So now in here we can make June logs, we can make boards. All this is base cost, but like if you got a talent in making, say, with a log owner, you, 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 this is a basic what it costs. So it costs one log or one Hume log sort of thing. So we should be able to make 15 Hume logs, but we don't want to do that at the moment. We want to make a stockpile, this one. Not not the uh, small stockpile, not the tiny one, just the stockpile. So we're going to make one of them. And since we're on single player, everything costs a little bit less to, to craft. Say we want to make a cart too, because, you know, we're going to be carting logs around. So we want to make a cart as well. So it was five, five of them. There you go. Make five of them. Queue that up. We might queue the card up too, just to get that on the go. Whatever it was. Yeah. So whenever they're ready, they will automatically get put into the cart. See how that blue line's going up? So whenever they're getting made, it will get put into there and then it'll add that in. So then we need some boards as well. So I know it's a bit mundane and everything, but these are just real basic sort of stuff that um, you kind of need to do to get, get your stuff on the go. So while that's getting processed, run down here, grab some more of these logs. And um, that on the go. Them happening. So in here is our stockpile. We'll grab that. Hopefully we can put it down in this hole. That'll be handy. Blocked. There we go. And we can just bang the stuff in there like that. Easy peasy. So now we got all that on the go. Um, we can craft up some, um, not that one, this one, and craft up, um, some boards. We need eight boards, five, eight boards, craft them, and that sort of gets you on the way to go. And, uh, so now we need some stone as well. So we want to get some, get the old pick out, the old stone pick, get to love this thing until for a while. You just simply just break up things, hold E. If you hold E and walk around, it'll pick up everything. So that's a, a little tip there. Now we can make a campfire as well. Craft that up. Um, and also see how it's sort of making the boards, but then it puts them straight into the cart. So what you can do is you can just grab it and put it in front of the cart. So it will make all the boards first and then put them into the cart. And then we'll craft the card up for you. And, um, yep. Yeah. That's, yeah, because you just, you just left click it, drag it. So, if, say I really want the campfire, I'll just get that on the go, drag it ahead. If I want the card or I want the boards, you just keep moving it around. Or if you don't want the campfire, you go, oh no, I've already made a campfire, just right click it and it'll cancel it. And, yeah. Order another one. The only problem with that is you do lose your calories that you put into it. So every time you make something, you do lose calories. But this card will be very handy for us at the moment. Um, and other than that, you want to start... Yeah, you really want to start... Um, once the cart's made, get that card on the go. Be made so you click on storage and it'll show you all the storage options nearby so this one does not this workbench does not reach our stockpile over here so that, that that's a bit of an issue so what we can do is we could just um yeah. and up here you get your switch to you can turn it on and off which is handy for some circumstances. 
Don't want to bang that in there. Get this cart down here. On low, low ground. And probably here would be good. We might just want to rotate that a little bit. Place it down. And now we've got this cart, we can drag it all the way around here on this flat area. And this area here will probably do some work here and we'll probably build a house above this. This stockpile is 5 by 5 by 5 so we can build a house above it, that'd be great. So that's sort of what you want to try and do and you want to get your, um, your fire down to put that down. Because you want to get as many um, buffs in your food as possible. Um, uh, this is your claim stake. So, as you can see here, each claim is five, five long, and it's all lit up. So, see how it's all white. And now we can claim this, but we go. Oh, we don't have any claim papers, so we can't claim it. But you want to keep all your stuff on a claim. But since we're in single player, it doesn't matter because there's no one else here. Because if this is not on a claim, anyone can come and take stuff out of this stockpile. Which you kind of don't want. Like, they can't do it with your cart. Because not unless you give permission. So let's have a quick look at that. You can author authorize people on here. So you can do anyone... And if you want to get rid of that, there's a little X there, you click it. So if someone comes past and says, oh, do you want a shovel? You go, oh, yeah, cool. Put in my cart. You go add, and then you go anyone. Then they put in and um, put in your cart. And then when they leave, you just go boom. Um, you don't have to worry about Because when you're on, on a designated server, that, see how there's only one person here? That's because that's you. But there could be like 30, 40 names down here, you know, so... It could be um, quite a challenge finding someone's name down in through there. So that's that's how you sort of authority. You can do that with everything, like your stockpile, even like you can give authority to anyone. But since it's not on a claim, you can't give it authority to anyone. It's only when you got stuff on a claim. So say this workbench. I want someone to come and craft something for me or something. You can give authority to that person. Or you can search their name like... See, there's my name Goody there. Bang. Done. Give Goody authority type thing. And you can do it with your stockpiles. Go into authority. You can do it with your steam trucks. You can do it with everything. So... Yep. Um, so here we want to craft up a chest. So let's get that on the go. Raft. Uh, storage chest. We can make mortar stone. We can make mortar. I'll show you how to do all that sort of stuff in a minute. Uh, so we want chests. We'll probably make two. And we'll basically put these near our campfire. And I'll show you how to link the uh, storage to a crafting station. Everyone. And then we'll move this workbench because it's not reaching our um, stockpile down here. But yeah, we definitely want to be in this area because there's lots of different biomes here, so pretty cool. Um, the reason why you want to be in a different biome, let me uh, show you. So we've got our world markers. We don't we don't want any of these. We don't want rice. We don't want that. We don't want huckleberries. We can get rid of our marker. We're going to keep our campsite, so just press the little thing if you don't, if you want to clean up all the markers. Um, so world layers. So at the moment, it's showing you yes, this is your property. Yeah. So if you're on a server, there'll be like lots of these all around, different colors, all over the place, sort of thing. Right. And the other thing we should have probably done before we set up base camp is we should have found a place with water um, like a creek of some description but see how we got a creek here but it doesn't run through a desert so that's kind of a problem um, 
there is no air. So over here, there's a creek with the desert, which probably would have been a good spot. So later on down the track, we will go over here and set up some sort of mining outpost of some description. See how these are all um, dropped off here? They're waterfalls, and they will give your water wheels more more power. But we will we will look at that later on down the track when we get to that stage. But at the moment, we we're doing okay. This is going to be a little spot to set up a little house and stuff like. You don't really need to have your house anywhere near where you're going to craft stuff or anything. It's just to give you a housing buff and stuff like that. But for now, all you really want to do is um, set up these uh, storage chests. Just drag them down here to your thing. Hot bar. We'll just put these here. Anywhere's fine. And we're going to put all our food in there. All that stuff you picked on the way over. And the other one we might just quickly... I don't know, what we'll do is we'll go into our tent here. And we'll grab that, and we can drag it. That, 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 uh, storage chest. I'm going to put all the seeds over here. We'll put that wood pulp in there. But any seeds, just keep them for now. And that's that. Uh, so but we're going to need some wood, so we'll go down here and get some wood. Chuck it up here. You can just put it straight in, so good to go. So now your campfire, you want to go into your storage tab. You want to be able to select this. You don't want it accessing that. So we've got two. Don't want it accessing. So we can close all that by clicking. And that'll show you all the available things. So what it's going to do is, is we'll put this chest up here. So we'll call this chest, um, let's rename it like cooked food. Okay. And this one we'll call it um, all crops. Sorry if I get my spelling wrong, but guys, I'm good at spelling. Okay, so you're going to put all your raw crops into that one, and then it'll go through the campfire and into this one. So let's, let's cook something. Um, what do we got? We've got some boiled grains. Let's cook all that. See what that tastes like. Get that on the go. Cook that. And we've got nothing, nothing else. See how it's got the uh, re the red zero? That means you don't have any of that attached. We've got. We've got a bit of beans here, we've got one bean, so we'll cook that. Got some beets, we'll char up that, why not? Because if you char it, it'll give you more benefit than charring it, like eating it raw. So you're better off cooking at this stage of the game, just cook everything. And see, at the start we had 20 raw fish, you want to cook that straight up, so bang that in there. So at the moment we've hit the, the work limit so we've got five things queued up so these these oil grains are going to take a long time where this takes 15 seconds so we'll move that forward and then that'll get done so all depends how starving you are to have what you want you want to do with the big order of things and so we can go into storage now we can go oh yeah we got some greens let's let's taste that you know like what is that doing for us so that's giving us carbs, protein, and vitamin. But the beans, they give us something different. They give us a lot of protein, a bit of fat, and some carbs. So I kind of want to eat them. Oh, that was a beetroot. Didn't see what that one gave us. But if another one will pop up here in a second, we can see the difference between a raw beetroot and a cooked one. So the cooked one gives us uh, 336, so your carbs, your fat, and your vitamins. And then a raw one, see, it gives you one extra each plus two extra vitamins. Char it. So it's definitely worth doing. So, where this one only gives you 230 calories, this one gives you 350. So you definitely want to look at doing stuff like that. But for now, guys, that's kind of your food sorted. You picked a little spot. 
Now you want to try and go and collect as much wood as possible being a logger. Um, since we're a logger, we can sort of, we can close this here too, move that out of the way. Uh, since we're a logger, you can see on the side here where it's giving us plus XP towards that profession and the bar's going up slightly at the bottom there. Back over here, see these? So every time we cut down a tree, we get extra bonuses. And we will slowly level up our logging skill. Um, so you get it for chopping out. Uh, I think you get it for chopping the stone. Okay. Ah. But see how one's got a cross on it. You get it for picking up these. Definitely in any interest to clean up after yourself. Yep, we're going to pick up all these logs and just chuck them in the cart. Like that. Then get our cart, drag it on, get the next tree. Like um, also, mushrooms are quite good to, uh, to eat as well. Early game. Um, but yeah, if you if you want to keep going, um, and then what we do is if you need your cart, you can just shift hold shift down and then drag them and that'll drag all those type of logs into stockpile but if you've got say multiple different things in there like pick some stuff here random stuff these these guys these are pretty good too and dig these up yep, like that So, so now we've got a heap of stuff in our bag, right? A bit of fire bar, we've got some stuff here. Okay. So say we want to put it all in this chest up here, in our raw foods chest. So if we want to do that, what we do is we press Control, Shift, and then drag it. And that'll drag everything that was in that backpack into that storage unit. The same with this uh, yeah, hot bar, so it'll drag everything in there. But it will start at this end and go back. And then you just click and you'll get that back. But um, you can also just click and I'll put it in there straight away. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was that we can make charred mortar. Yeah. yeah, charred mortar. So I usually have a couple campfires set up with, uh, with uh, a couple chests. So I put all these scraps in there. And then once you like queue that up for like a thousand or something ridiculously high and um, when you get the spare bit of wood pulp or fiber you just put it straight into that and it will automatically process that into mortar because mortar is something that people do need early game as well so, and it's handy because um, mortar stone looks pretty cool because you can't make mortar stone up here in your little thing here. So, but um, the other thing too is with your hewn logs, like there's this little advanced crafting menu here. At the moment we can make soft wood hewn logs or hewn logs, but then you can go show all and you can do hardwood ones as well. So there's the three types of hewn logs which all look a slightly different to um, each other sort of thing so so since we don't have hardwood we can only do take this off we can only do softwood or hewn logs so I like just hewn logs because softwood does not look, look good at all um, it's very white if you're into the white thing you can do it <laughs> but um, yeah all right guys so I will leave that as my first episode you kind of just want to scratch around, get some, get some more different types of crops in, like from your different areas, and try and balance your food food out the best you can. So you get this level up here, so then this overall, the in 40, 49 minutes we'll get another star. So, which is pretty cool. 
but we've already got another star by the look of it. So another good secondary skill to take to start with would be mining. Ah, uh, not mining. I was thinking about mining, but um, if you're going to run around and grab a heap of food, the other one would be campfire cooking. That's the one. You want to take that. That'll give you a bit better food buff. Um, help you level a bit quicker. So you learnt a few recipes here now. So if you want to play around with them, uh, I'm going to try and upload a video one or two a week. So um, we'll see how we go. But this is sort of my first YouTube video. So let's um, try and give me some support. And um, yeah, I'll get. Um, We'll get, uh, get going on the next episode or two, and um, yeah, and hope you enjoyed it, and um, yeah, I'll see you next time.